Hi, on this episode of Bike Hoarders, we are going to be reviewing the Trek Precaliber 20 7 speed. This is what Trek has to say about their bike, and then we're going to say what we have to say about it. The Precaliber 20 7 speed is a versatile kids' bike for young adventurers. It has a lightweight frame and quality components like a front suspension fork, 7 speed gearing, and handbrakes that are perfectly sized to better fit small riders. For kids ages 5 to 8, between 45 and 52 inches tall. And this is what they have for their specs on this thing. Alpha it. silver aluminum 20 inch kids frame. It's got a kid suspension, threadless steer fork, 35 mil travel, just a house brand. Max compatible fork travel is 50 mil. The hu front hub steel 100 millimeter bolt on. Rear hub is steel 26 tooth. Ally 20 inch 32 hole Schrader valve rims. Comes with Bontrager XR1 wire bead 27 TPI. 20 by 2.25 tires. The shifter on it is the Shimano Tourney RS45 7 speed twist. The derailleur is the Shimano Tourney TY300. Handlebars are Kid Steel 25.4 millimeter clamp, 40 mil rise, 560 millimeter width. Overall, the bike weighs 23.62 pounds. Some of the geometry specs are as follows for this bike. You should probably add all of these um, measurements are in centimeters unless otherwise indicated which is cool of Trek for saying that. I will give them props. I can't tell you how many bike sites that we've gone on going, what measurement is this in? So it's always fun playing the guessing game of this is Imperial or is it metric? The geometry for this bike is as follows. The seat tube is at 25 centimeters. The seat tube angle is 72. The head tube length is 8.5 and the head tube angle is 70, which is also pretty steep, kind of matching the seat tube a bit there. And the effective top tube is 44.5, the bottom bracket height is 23.8 bottom bracket drop is three the chain stay length is 37.2 and your offset is 4.2 wheelbase is 85 and the standover is 49.1 it's not too bad it's 86 the wheelbase is 86 <laughs> the standover height is 49.1 which really isn't too bad the frame reach is 30 and i don't know what a frame stack is so i'm gonna leave that out and i'll leave that for you guys to figure out so those are some of the stats of the bike. Um, going over some of those, I guess this is now where we get to tell you yeah, our opinion. Yeah, we tell you our opinion on the bike now, because that's what Trek has to say about it. Mm -hmm. And we can't argue the geometry or what's on it, because we'll, yep. we're just going to tell you what we think about so what's Yeah, those are all about. the bits and pieces and how the beast handles and runs, and now here's our take on it. Um, overall, this bike isn't too bad of a beginner bike. It is a pretty good entry level bike depending on what style of riding you and your family would like to get into. If your kid's just starting out and they want to start getting into, you know, have something a little bit beefier that's not your average, you know, store bought Walmart bike. This one's really not too bad. That standover height is really nice because it's the the top tube here has a nice little like taper in it, so it makes it really easy for kids to get their legs over the bike nicely and that was a big factor that we really enjoyed about this bike. Yeah, we had bought this for our, one of our twins when he turned five and that definitely helped mm -hmm. the learning curve of getting on and off the bike and helping him not fall down. So that is definitely a plus on this bike. Yes. Uh, a couple other things we like about this bike is honestly the color scheme on it is pretty neat, pretty especially cool. for a kid's bike. As many of you may know when purchasing a bike, you don't always get the best color choices for the kind of bike you might be looking for. So, as far as a kid bike go, it's pretty neat. I do enjoy the blue on the rims, the blue accents, and the blue pedals. And we even checked out Tre Trek's new color wave that they came out with this year. Pretty cool bike mm -hmm. too. So, they got their coloring pretty good on these. We will say though, that the pedals themselves, although it's nice to have colored pedals right off the rip for You're a kid's bike. probably want to get better ones. Yes, and they were not the grippiest that we noticed, and we did have a lot of pedal slips and uh, issues, especially if it was wet. There was the biggest issue mm -hmm. there is if his shoes got wet and tried to pedal, they would just, All over the place. yeah, we couldn't stay on. Um, Keeping down here, definitely enjoy the double crank guard up front. That is great. Definitely protection. Kind of helps keep the chain on too. Definitely a bonus on that one. Yeah. Um, the tourney, Shimano, eh, it, it could use a clutch. If you're, if you're getting in anything kind of bumpy, it, you're going to get a lot of chain slap back there. It is nice that it's a seven speed though, um, but on the downside of that, it, it was also a grip shifter. Uh, we actually changed ours out mm -hmm. to a sun race. Yeah, right, initially. Trigger shifter because it 
the grip shifter sucked right off the rip. We thought initially that the grip shift would have been a nice touch for a small kid, thinking like, okay, yeah, that might be easier for them to understand. Instead of having to try to use two buttons, just crank your hand back and forth. But we found that it was actually very stiff, very difficult to use, even after tweaking and trying to improve it, it was still a challenge to, to master. So we ended up upgrading to a trigger shifter and he really seemed to like that yes. a lot. Um, staying on with, I cockpit. guess the cockpit, yeah, I was gonna say. The brakes, they're just linear, pull brake, rim pull brakes. Um, they did their job quite well. Uh, if you need a lot of stopping power though, you're gonna wanna sh get something a little better. I think they could have probably put discs on it, but for ne normal gravel roads and fire roads or you know, just around the neighborhood, they'll do just fine. They did just fine for our little guy for the longest time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Going along with that though, if they would have upgraded to disc brakes, they probably could have saved themselves some weight in the rims. It uh, is a pretty heavy bike for yeah, a little guy. Overall, yeah, the weight is it's it's kind of bulky. It's a little bit it's a little cumbersome to pull around for the smaller guys. If your child's on the older side of the uh, end for this bike, might not be as bad, but overall it's, it's a tad on the heavy side. Um, the 35 mil forks are nice up front. The kind of short travel you know but then again it like it's more for neighborhood riding xc light xc riding mm -hmm. you know things like that uh so it they, they did justice though they're pretty they're pretty beefy took a beating from could say that for sure mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, overall i mean the bike it is pretty hardy it holds up to quite a quite a beating one like, thing i would have liked to see track do different uh it's only got a two bolt stem Four bolt, no, normal four bolt with regular size bars, you know, 31.8 versus the 25 point, whatever they have on it. Probably would have been way cooler, you know, mm -hmm. so. And a little bit longer bars, I feel, would give the bike a little bit more control for a little one as well. Yeah. Definitely a little twitchier of a bike. Yes. From what I noticed. Yes, yes, it does seem rather twitchy. So. Overall, we've taken this thing out on several different types of trails and different experiences and it's gone through quite a lot and it's held up. It's it's definitely a great hand-me-down bike, a great bike to get like, you know, as a starter or something that you might pass down to younger siblings as the older ones grow. It definitely is a great family bike. It's great as Bear, <laughs> whoever you are. As great as he was mentioning before, it's really great for gravel roads, fire roads, uh, light trail riding, green trails, bunny trails, things like that. Uh, it, it will handle a little bit tougher of stuff, but honestly, we found the reason we are upgrading from this is our little one has outskilled this bike. So he is due for an upgrade, honestly. So overall, great starter bike, depending on where your kid's skill level is. Another feature on this bike is these tires here. Uh, they are a bit more geared, I would say, towards cross country, which cross I say- Cross country the, and commuting. Yeah, which right. I would say that the whole bike overall is, which kind of accompanies the steep, te steeper seat tube angle, as well as the steeper head tube angle on this. So they have the Bontrager, just house brand, uh, 20 by 2.25 inch tires. You know, uh, they held up, but definitely, a little bit beefier tires, kids skidding around, things like that. They did wear down pretty quick. These guys are about pretty bald in the back yeah. after one year, which ain't too bad, I guess. But they did do a lot of he did a lot of riding on it. Yeah, it's definitely got it's definitely got our money's worth out of it. But again, with that said, though, the amount of money that we paid at the time retail price was about four forty nine when we purchased it. So this is uh, just for Trek's website now for three ninety nine. Yes. Uh, so all those points that we had mentioned earlier, those slight upgrades, the disc brakes, the four bolt stem. It's a little heavy. Yeah, it's a little heavy. Those small things for the price, it's okay for it, but you know, those little things I feel could have been beefed up a little bit. I don't know. If we were to give it a five star rating, what would you say? Mm, out of five? <laughs> I'd say about a 3.5. 3.5? Okay. Yeah. I'd give it like a three or so. Something yeah. like that. Give it a 3.5. It is those, those little things like, you know, again, like they, these pedals offer, if you plan on taking it on trails and actually outside 
these pedals are not ideal. No, they're really not. You're gonna yeah. want, they're cool and all. They are very cool looking, but it's, that was probably, that was the first thing that we yeah, upgraded. Yeah. And shifter was probably not that far was behind. Something. Yeah, the shifter, because he could shift it one direction, but when it come to pulling it back, he just didn't have the strength in his hands, mm -hmm. so. So those, those couple little things, little details, overall not a bad bike. Fix the bad things, Trek. Okay. I did it. Nailed that. Yeah. Only All took right. 14 takes or more. All right. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching Honey and Bear's bike review. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that was funny. <laughs>